some of you know that I I've been, was recently seeing someone. I was kind of excited about it because whenever I mention a class accidentally on purpose, <laughs> like if I've met someone, then I'm like excited about it. So it's been like three weeks. It's totally casual. Although I drove a long way and had dinner <laughs> at the Olive Garden for this person. So that goes to show you <laughs> that I was in it to win it. Anyway, <laughs> I was, I was in it to win it. But there is there's a sad, sad ending to this chapter. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Well, I, I'm the victim of a ghost. I've been ghosted. Now, I don't really know what that is, but it's a thing that youngins like to, or maybe not just youngins, but the young folk like to ghost nowadays. If you don't know what ghosting is, you're like moving along in life with someone, and then what? You don't hear from that person. I, for an abnormally long amount of time based on your past experience. And I asked someone about it, they're like, oh, you've just been ghosted. I'm like, what's that? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> so see, I try to have a sense of humor about it, even though inside I'm dying a little bit. But here's the point. Here is the point. Because this came up for me today. As I was having my feelings about it, and we're Instagram friends, or we're social, we're connected through social media, which got me so upset because like, it is like high school. In the old days, if you got ghosted or you got broken up with, okay, great, you do not have to constantly be reminded of whatever that dynamic. So anyway, my point is, is as my feelings came up around, you know, the experience that I was going through. I found it to be really interesting to just sit with everything that was coming up. And a lot of times, my mind, full of all these thoughts, had all these great ideas of how to solve it, how to fix it, how to get answers, how to make myself feel better, how to not feel. And then I realized, like, okay, what if all of that machination of the mind, the stories that I'm telling myself, first of all, they're just stories, but also it's all based in control. So if I could do that thing, in the short term it would make me feel better because I could control the situation in a way that would make me feel better. But feeling better isn't feeling. So that's the great insight. Here I teach it, here we talk about it. We're working on it all the time. You're never gonna get it solved. You're never gonna have this whole acting thing. Oh my God, I, I, I do all this thing and I'm on set and now it's gonna work perfectly. That's not life and that's not acting. But isn't that good to know? That by training, by working with yourself in the moment with other people who are towing the line with you, you start to create a different kind of awareness about how to deal with yourself with feeling. Mm -hmm. That's life, kids. That's bigger than acting. Mm -hmm. Certainly it's applicable to acting. It is acting because acting is just an extension of life anyway. So as you move through life, feeling, not feeling, not feeling, not feeling, trying to feel, but don't want to feel, not feeling, not feeling, you get rejected, things hurt, people slam the door, agents dump you, your series doesn't get picked up, you don't book the pilot, you don't have a pilot season, so you want to chuck it all try to just abide in the feeling. Hi, I'm Shailene Woodley. Hi, I'm Ramirez. Hi, I'm Brianne Howie. Uh, my name is Olivia Taylor Dudley. Hey, how's it going? Hey. You always learn from your worst auditioning stories. 